Hello, this is Andy's Golf and Travel Diary here at the Ponte Vedra Inn and Club on the newly renovated ocean course with the famed golf architect Bobby Weed. Bobby Weed, what an awesome media outing here playing this uh, beautifully renovated golf course. Thanks, glad you guys were able to make it today. A little breezy, but still a lot of interest and fun. It was breezy, it was breezy. That's good, that's part of the golf course. Can you tell uh, us a little bit about the dynamics of the changes here, mainly the big changes with the practice facility and the new par 3 13th hole? Yeah, I think it all started when um, we were allowed to take some property up on the north end and um, fashion a new golf hole, allowing us to eliminate the 10th hole, and, and as a result, taking a warm-up facility of the practice area and turning it into a, a full, uh, all-encompassing practice with um, tees on both ends and short game practice areas back there on the on the north end as well. So uh, they really have a great range uh, today going forward. And by eliminating the 10th hole, uh, we dropped a park that we built a par three up on the back nine, now hole number 13, which dropped our par from 72 down to 71, but nonetheless still a lot of interest and uh, made for a great par three up there, separating two back-to-back -back par five. So it, came, it comes at a good time and I think everyone's gonna really enjoy it. How good was the grand opening and seeing Herb Payton hit that uh, ceremonial first tee shot? Mr. Payton's an amazing man, uh, chairman of Gate Petroleum. At his age, works every day, works out, plays golf, plays nine holes every week, and uh, that didn't surprise me at all. Nothing he does surprises me. He's a great man. Other than that beautiful par 3 13th, which, by the way, everybody in our foursome parred this morning. Great. What do you feel are the biggest changes to the ocean course here? Well, obviously, um, um, we touched every corner of the property, uh, every golf hole had some had some alteration or modification in some, some small fashion. But I would say across the board, uh, all of the greens were lowered um, a little bit, 15 to 24 inches. A couple of greens were lowered a little bit more like the one behind us, hole number nine, and also on number 17, we lowered three or four feet. Um, and then uh, we have no rough. Uh, we all shortcut fairways with step cut um, thereafter. So, you know, the golf course has wide corridors, plenty of room to play golf, because the wind is really the defense of this golf course set right up against the Atlantic Ocean here uh, in a north-south routing. So in the wintertime, you have the wind coming out of the north, northeast, northwest, and then of course in the summertime, your prevailing wind is coming out of the south and southeast. And the way the golf course is routed, uh, the golf course uh, typically plays different every day almost. It really is a great destination golfing uh, place here at the Ponte Vedran and Club with the Lagoon Course and now the recently renovated Ocean Course. Tell us a little bit about the golf that's offered here on both the golf courses. Well, we have 36 holes. We have the Lagoon Course and then the Ocean Course, and um, they really complement each other very well. While the Ocean Course is big, wide, spacious, uh, the Lagoon Course is a little more intimate, a little bit tighter, par 70, shorter golf course but nonetheless uh, has a lot of challenge to it, but a lot of interest uh, associated with both golf courses. The Lagoon course has a lot of half park golf holes, which are very intriguing to play. And um, so depending on your, your, your level and how much time you have, both courses play relatively quick. And um, it's just, they just complement each other for both the membership and resort play. Well, again, Bobby, it's been a great day playing this ocean course today. Thank you so much for being such a special part of Andy's Golf and Travel Diary. You bet. Thank you. Thanks for having me.